Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Agave Talk, your number one source for everything agave. We appreciate you being here with us today. Today, very, very, very excited to bring you this beautiful, gorgeous looking hand-painted bottle. If you're a fan of the channel, you do subscribe. You do know I have reviewed this brand, Tequila Azolejos, but it is a completely different bottle. This is part of their Masterpiece Collection, and getting that in the shot, look at that. Beautiful. I'm going to break down this bottle. This is a Tequila Añejo, and I am very, very, very excited to show this off today because not only is the bottle gorgeous, they're, they're one of the the pioneers, if not the first, to make hand-painted ceramic bottles. Not only are they making beautiful, gorgeous-looking bottles, the tequila inside is actually really, really good. Now, I have not opened this, so I have not tried this specifically, but I say that because if you do subscribe to the channel, you know recently I did a review of their trophy head selection. Yes, this is the same exact brand, Tequila Azolejos, right? That's how you pronounce it. And reviewing this, you know I was a big fan of this. This funky looking weird bison head, right? I broke that down. Go watch that video. Go watch that video. But also, too, not only are they making bison heads, they're making masterpieces. They also are making the Skelly bottles. If you've ever seen this bottle here, right? I got my guy with the bandana. The bandana does come off. I'm going to be reviewing this next week. This is their Blanco, right? So super cool, super dope. I really love it. And they are making some of the coolest bottles. But why I love Azolejos is because the tequila inside is actually really good. So I'm hoping this follows that trend for sure. You're on this journey with me to check this out. And I appreciate you being here, all right? So I highly recommend go check out their website. It is azolejostequila.com. Or you could just go, you know, search Azolejos Tequila and your favorite search engine and that will pop right up. Definitely go recommend checking out their website and really reading into the brand. Their founder, Pedro Quintanilla, was a man of art. You'll realize, well, why are all the bottles like artistic? They have art with them. Well, the brand founder, right? The owner himself, just a huge fan of art. And if you realize in Mexican culture, art is like life. There is so much art, beautiful hand-painted artwork across the entire country. It is something, go deep down that rabbit hole, right? And that's then where people like in the tequila world and some of these tequila snobs, right? Oh, pretty bottles can't have good tequila. Like, no, they actually can. And hats off then to these pretty bottles because they are truly, truly bringing that culture to the forefront of artistry. It's not just about the tequila sometimes, right? Tequila's delicious, it's amazing, but there's so much more to Mexican culture. And one of those pinnacles of the culture truly is artwork. And you can see this is a hand-painted bottle, limited edition, none two are the same, right? Now, they also have six different looking styles. This is their masterpiece collection. And the Masterpiece Collection itself is a tribute to the most significant art movements of the 20th century. They're saying they're beautifully captured in six unique designs. This is just one of them. Go check out the website and you'll see a whole bunch of looking bottles. Got that Picasso kind of vibe, right? And they really are. They're paying tribute to artistry and even just that meticulous attention to detail. Like this, again, is hand painted beautiful beautiful looking bottles here you can oh right even there right hand painted mexico lead free this ceramic bottle the top as well you got this agave on the top and this personally is i love this bottle for sure so the collection features limited edition bottles again hand painted and it's the añejo right here they do have repasados in this masterpiece collection, but I have the Añejo. You guys know I'm a huge fan of Añejos. Repasados, not my favorite, right? 
but this is the Añejo coming in at 40%, and this is NOM1438. Like I said, I do have the Skelly as well, right? So this is a Blanco, and then this Trophy Head, this is an Añejo, all the same brand. Go watch this video. Stay tuned next week for this video, and right here, right now, I'm about to open up this on this video, right? <laughs> so we got some, you know, Spirit World competition. They won gold in that. And just some regulatory stuff on the back, right? We've got our dates and lot numbers and things. But man, overall too, not only this being a amazing tequila, this is something that you're going to keep on your shelf, hopefully, just to display. And it is super, super, super cool. I truly love it. Shout out Azulejos. Let me open this up. This is not perforated at all anywhere. So I'm going to have to cut this. Give me a second. I'm going to be right back. All right, let me cut this off slightly. <laughs> this was not perforated at all. Hope I don't slice my finger. There we go. We got it. All right. <laughs> so with that being said, let your bottles pop. And I'm going to twist this off just so I don't mess up that. Oof, that was a good one. Look at this. Even the bottle topper. This is heavy. This is really heavy, this ceramic hand painted, beautiful, just that cork there. And the bottle itself, man, let me get this to the side and pour this out. If you have not done so already, please hit that like and subscribe, as well as follow us on Instagram at Agave Talk. All right, pour that on out. Let's get this bottle topper back in. And uh, oh, oh, I smell it. I smell it from right here. Now, this is additive free. This is 100% additive free. And that's when then I share with everybody way too many new tequila snobs nowadays, right? Oh, pretty bottles this and additive free that. Like, okay, cool, great. Like, chill, right? <laughs> Drink what you want. But also, too, don't judge books by its cover until you've had it. You might have heard say somebody say something like, oh, that tequila doesn't taste good. I don't like it. Well, then you go try it and see if you like it yourself, right? Because this is something, Tequila Azulejos, that it is some great tequila, but so many people would just skip over. Oh, it's just, it's a pretty bottle. Because unfortunately, there is some other hand-painted, ceramic, really tall bottles out there that the tequila inside is not additive free. It doesn't taste like tequila and it's not good. So that's really popular, which then might give something like this a bad rap. But this right here, I can definitely vouch tequila azulejos, additive free and definitely some delicious, delicious golden looking liquid right there. Oh man. Let me get that into focus, the legs and tears. Let me try to, there we go. That is not going anywhere. That is not going anywhere. Oh, got out of focus. You can see it in the back on the front. It is not going anywhere. That is some sticky looking stuff. The color itself too, definitely really that golden hue. This is an Añejo. And what's unique about this actually, I'm gonna talk about it, let it open up a little bit. They are using fully mature agaves from about seven to 10 years, looking for the really high sugar content agaves, right? But what's unique is they're actually using 50% of the agaves from the highlands and 50% of the agaves from the lowlands. So they're actually taking lowland tequila and I'm sorry, lowland agaves and highland agaves 50-50. And that's what's then inside this bottle. So super cool. You wouldn't notice stuff if you don't look into it and or you don't follow me, right? Hey, that's why you're here. So yes, 50-50 highland lowland tequila. Uh, seven to ten years on those agaves and they're actually roasting in brick ovens slow fermenting no diffusers whatsoever right traditional methods that they are making this um, they are using a roller press extraction and they're aging it in bourbon barrels for 18 months yes a year and a half, 18 months, and like I said, completely additive free, all right? So bourbon barrel, 18 month on Yeho, really solid production methods. Uh, yeah, let's let's check this out. Cheers, everybody, appreciate you being here. Ooh, okay. No ethanol, no ethanol whatsoever, but there's a lot of bourbon on there for sure. At first, like whiff, it was it was really bourbon whiskey like, right? But as it's opening, 
And as my nose is getting used to it, oh, there's a lot of wood on there, a lot of oak on there for sure. It is sweet too. Again, using 10 year agaves, really ripe agaves and roasting those, that's where you're gonna get your sweetness. Somebody might smell this who's not, you know, uh, really into smelling and tasting often. They might smell this at first go, especially if they already have, you know, that judgment. Oh, this is a hand paint. It's not going to be good. Oh, it smells sweet. Oh, there's got to be additives. I've, I've seen it time and time again. I've heard it over and over, the ignorance, unfortunately. But this really is, it has a sweet smell to it. But it's because of those roasted ripe agaves think about like a banana right if you have a green banana it's not going to be sweet but if you let that banana age you peel it off let it age right and it starts turning yellow it starts turning yellow with some brown spots and then it starts turning like brown and dark right man that's where you're getting the sweetest banana it's the same thing with agaves the more you let it age from seven to ten years that extra three years is a huge difference. You're going to get really sweet agaves. And when you roast it, then, oh, that's where you're going to get that sweet, sweet agave smell. There is agave on here, but for my nose, really, it's really the bourbon barrels. I'd wonder the char on those and how used and or new because there is a lot of bourbon on this, but it is a nice balance with agave and sweet agave at that. It's kind of floral, but fruity. There's some pepper for sure. Some vanilla, definitely some vanilla bean. But again, nothing like additives, right? This is additive free. But it's, it's a lot just for my nose, that bourbon barrel. But it is kind of smoothing out and opening out. It's there, it's prominent. But man, that's a nice balance. It's definitely a nice balance for sure. They're saying pineapple. I can get it. Like a real, like, juicy pineapple. Okay. But yeah, it's definitely for me that roasted sweet agave mixing with the bourbon. And man, oh, let's try this out. Let's try this out. Cheers, everybody. Appreciate you being here. Salud. Mmm. 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 Oh, ho, ho. Oh, that's good. Mm, that's good. That's peppery. It's definitely peppery. That oak is really, like I said, I smelled it in the nose and it's really coming through. It's really coming through on on the palate as well. Just how like the, the tannins in there, that is that 18 months, that year and a half. Those really got to be some really like newer barrels, I would imagine just like used once. Oh man, yeah, let me take another sip. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Again, it's really, it's sweet, but not in a manipulated way. You got agave in there for sure, but it's, it's kind of chocolatey even. Like a really dark chocolate. I, re I really, I would wonder what is the barrel, what barrels are you using and what is the char? Like, I'm really curious about these barrels. And um, because, man, that is really chocolatey even. You don't, I don't normally get a lot of chocolate um, on my añejos, just from the añejos I have. And it's not something like super, like common. Um, it's there-ish, but this is, hold on. Mm, mm, mm. That is very chocolatey. You're definitely getting a lot of wood on there, but there's still some agave for sure. And it's, um, that's nice. It's long lasting. I mean, there's even like some orange, I'd say more like an orange peel. And even like kind of like, um, like if you like roasted the orange peel, like smoked it on a fire even. It's not smoky, but just kind of that char. Like I'm... I'm getting notes of orange, but it's like a char. I'm getting notes of floral, like flowers, but it's like a charred flower. It's definitely a lot of char going on in there, which connects to the wood, that chocolate taste. And it's it's some it's a little, 
I don't, it's not sweet, right? Like it's not sweet, like, like sweet. This isn't a dessert, but it has a sweetness to it because of those ripe agaves, but it is toned down and kind of filtered out because of that wood on there. Let me take this last sip. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. If you got somebody who loves chocolate and more so like um like dark chocolate, right? This right here, this is for them for sure. Let me get this out of the way and showcase this bottle again. This right here, tequila azolejos. I'm a fan. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Look at this. Like again, they're making some good stuff, definitely, and it's such a beautiful piece to have sitting on the bar. Highly recommend their brand for sure. If you did not check out the video, go check out the trophy head, right? This is an Añejo as well, and there's a bunch of different like colors of this. I think there's a green, there's a white even. This has six different um, uh, styles to it as well, all with a different piece of artwork on the front. And then, like I said, next week, they're even making bottles like this. My Skelly guy, man, look at that. Look at that for sure. Stay tuned next week for that. And uh, this is their Blanco. So super cool. Tequila Azalejos really pushing boundaries with artwork in bottles. But doing it through actually good tequila. So <laughs> I appreciate you being here. If you have not done so already, please hit that like and subscribe as well as follow us on Instagram at Agave Talk. All right. If you've had this, drop it in the comments below. Would love to hear. Thank you, my people who are here every week, really sharing comments, keeping that conversation going. Truly appreciate you all. And that's it. Take care, everybody.